Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. I'm at Con Expo Con Ag 2020 with Britta Kopp, who's a Bobcat's marketing manager for innovation. Uh, and we are talking about Bobcat's electrification strategy. Yes. There's electric uh, machines here in the Bobcat yep. booth for the yep. first time. Yeah. What is the status of this program? How did Bobcat get into electrification? Yeah. Where's it going? Yeah. All those questions. Absolutely. So obviously we invented the industry. You have to keep reinventing yourself to stay relevant. So yeah. we've always been thinking and crowdsourcing to understand what are what is the next thing our customer is going to want and mm -hmm. what do they not even know they need. So we've really always had that ingenuity and that brain set where we're looking at what's the next best thing. So. Um, and being environmentally conscious and just seeing industries that are highly regulated with emissions and controlled, all of that, there's, there's a need for electric in, in the industry. We're not the first to have electric, but we're the first to have an all-electric compact yeah. equipment machine. Yeah. Well, um, I know that customers concept. will come up with lots of applications yeah, for these once absolutely. you get them out there, but yep. from Bobcat's perspective, where do you yeah. feel like the biggest opportunity is for electric? Yeah, so we started machines? the concept with our smaller machines for indoor demolition. So okay. really, you know, areas and applications that are really regulated by emissions and um, and just being uh, having a... Not air quality emissions yeah, so much as... Yes. as as uh, personal safety yep, emissions. Yep, personal safety emissions. Yeah, um, yeah and, and working in an enclosed space, obviously, yeah, those yeah. Um, compounds. So mm -hmm. that's where the where the concept started. But application-wise, just talking to individuals at the show, they're really thinking, like, we've heard um, that airport um, facilities are, are very regulated on, you know, any waste that they make um, around hospitals. Mm -hmm. So really it expands past the outdoor, or past the indoor and goes into outdoor applications that are more more so you know conscious of the footprint that they're leaving yeah, so yeah. you know companies that are you know green companies utility companies they're really looking for this as a solution and an option yeah is there uh, a, te a technology that's related to electrification of these machines that's kind of developed to a point that really sort of marked the point where Bobcat yeah. said, I think we're ready to, to start using these? Yeah, I would say, you know, just the, the concept of battery powered and, mm -hmm. and the um, expansion in battery packs, you know, um, size used to be an inhibitor where, I mean, you have to have a giant battery pack in yeah. order to run a machine. Now, with the ability to make lithium ion batteries and, and make them cells and, and get the same efficiency and power out of a smaller you know, space, yeah. you, you can start putting them in smaller um, yeah, it's not machines. So, yeah, it's, it's not it's not so yeah. much about, about having the power to lift yeah. and, yeah. and dig and all it's that sort of thing. It's being able to do it for eight year, for eight hours. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. like capability of the battery packs is really, mm. w the technology and, and the power source has gotten to a point that it can sustain our industry yeah. and, and the rigorous um, applications that we're in. I see, yeah. I see. Um, so the, uh, you mentioned you're not the, the first first with electri electri electrification, right. I'm having trouble the saying electrification. Yeah, I know. Uh, um, what's what's setting Bobcat's approach apart from the others in the market? I would say we really have our our customer in mind. We do a lot. The, the reason we're a little slower into it is that we do a lot of groundwork and getting in touch with testing and prototyping with true applications. We're not just putting it in a white box and testing it on a computer. It's going into the field and it's working in the environment and making sure it's meeting all of their specifications and then tweaking and engineering and making it better so that we have what the customer wants when we actually release a product. All right, all right. Um, uh, what products has Bobcat got that are electric here on the show floor. Yeah, so at the show, at Con Expo, we've got three machines. Two of them are prototypes and one of them is a concept. Our prototype machines are our E17E. It's an electric and hydraulic powered excavator. Um, it's got your traditional hydraulics for the boom arm and then the engine is replaced by a lithium-ion ruggedized battery. So that is your power source. And then we've got our S70, which is our smallest um, skid steer loader. Mm -hmm. That one is electric, is replacing your traditional engine source. Mm -hmm. And then it's got electric drive, but you've got your traditional hydraulics for your lift and tilt functions and your attachments. Okay. 
Um, those two are really, um, you know, started with the indoor demolition. They're smaller in size, um, need to get through doorways, and need to really, you know, service that application. And then we've got our S70, which is our smallest um, skid steer loader. Mm -hmm. That one is electric, is replacing your traditional engine source, mm -hmm. and then it's got electric drive, but you've got your traditional hydraulics for your lift and tilt functions and your attachments. Okay. Um, those two are really, um, you, you know, started with the indoor demolition. They're smaller in size, um, need to get through doorways, and need to really, you know, service that application. The what, machine, are the, what are the, the mood components on the front of this? Yeah, so we also have an all-electric loader at the show. Oh, this, okay, yeah, I see. That's yep. not the one you were talking about. Yeah, all no, right. yeah, the smaller little one is, is still got hydraulics on it. But I see. Yeah, the loader behind me is an all-electric T76, mm -hmm. and the all-electric defines that there's no fluid running through the machine. So okay. your, your battery pack is replacing your traditional engine, and then all of your hydraulic components are being replaced by um, ball joint actuators. So an actuator that is run by an electronic brain in the back of the um, machine. Mm -hmm. And if you look through the machine, there's like, all of your hoses are replaced by wires. And there's no traditional mechanics inside the machine. I see. So is yeah. that the concept machine? Yeah. Okay. Yep. That, that's our concept machine. So not to market yet. Yeah. Um, it's, it, we, have it, we have operable machines out in the in our industry and with customers you know testing them yeah. so it's it's not a an unrealized concept but um, not commercialized yeah. yeah it's not just a show demo yep. it's actually right. out there working yep. it's out there uh, working. it makes sense to, to uh, you know to qualify a, a technology like that if you're using electric yes. power can yes. you can the electric actuators can do the do job yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and really we've met all of the same specifications that um, our traditional machines have and um, the Perform Performance yeah, specifications. performance specifications yeah. and the beauty about electronics is that it's all coded. So you really aren't inhibited by any of your traditional mechanics where you've got, you know, hydraulics and brake, you know, things that are impeding breakout speed and lift capacity and, and all of those. Since you can code it, it's really how much it's relative to how long do you want your battery to last yeah. and how much power do you need to use um, to do the job. Right, so engineered sure. to mm -hmm. do more more efficiently mm -hmm. um, yeah like finite controls using electric it's really uh, like 100 percent precise yeah, so. yeah what kind of lessons have you learned so far on this journey i mean what kind of things uh, have yeah. changed since the beginning yeah i i would say that um really it's just you know we thought it was such a niche market that w that we didn't think there was going to be you know the customer demand for it but really and truly just being at the show this week i mean like you said the customers are, are drumming up applications for it. They're no, sure. they're they're wanting it and they're finding it. So really understanding the customer side of it has has taught us that that um, our customers look to us to be to be doing what's in the future and yeah. and are really you know our our current customers are proud that they own current Bobcats and are proud of where we're going in the future. Yeah. So. yeah. What's the timeline? Do you have a sense for um, what what the future looks like? Yeah. I mean, really, it's it's a very fluid timeline I would say but sure. you know one one to two years I, you'll you'll see electric from okay us, all right commercialized. Yeah. Yeah. yeah are there are there like specific technologies that you think you know need to sort of bake a little longer before you can, can release it I mean honestly it's just perfecting the specs and making sure that it's okay. it's doing what we need it to do um, so everything right today yeah. everything is, is pretty everything, much capable yeah yeah, yeah. I okay. mean we yeah we've got working machines in the field that are right. doing what we need them to do so. fantastic yeah. Well, it, they, it's a great story, and I Thank sure appreciate you, you taking yeah, the time to tell absolutely. us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you so much. All right. yeah.